ladies and gentlemen so today we are playing a brand new game and yes i'm playing on my desktop no this is not a vr game today we are looking at a game called incursion red river so this game looked insane all right this is supposedly an extraction shooter uh, i believe it's more of a, a pve type of extraction shooter so i'm definitely hyped up to play this now if you guys can't already tell um, we have Vietnam in the back there. It looks incredible. Finally, a game that is based somewhere else other than always America or always, you know, in, in very typical countries. Like, we have something a little bit different this time. We have Vietnam, but in the modern days. So we're not playing, like, a Cold War type of game. This is modern. I'm definitely excited. So this is a live video, right? But if you guys want to watch the whole thing, I'm going to get right into it. Right, like this is like first impressions. I haven't even tried this game yet. I have zero hours played. So let's hop into it together. Let's see what it's like. And uh, let's just read everything that comes up as well because we, you know, kind of don't know the game at the moment. So let's experience it. All right. Early access. Welcome to Incursion Red River. We are thrilled to release into early access and are eager to hear your feedback. If you encounter any bugs, please feel free to join our Discord. Thank you once again, Incursion Red River team. Disclaimer, certain PC configurations can occasionally crash the game when changing graphics settings. We are actively looking for a fix. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's start this up, man. I'm excited. Look at this, man. This is great. Um, you guys might hear vibrations and whatnot from my phone. Just ignore it. Uh, I'm not going to be texting or anything, but yeah. Let's hop into it. Okay. So we have a couple options here. Let's go ahead and check the settings first, just to see if everything is kind of um, normal. You know, like things are what they should be. For an example, the best example here is aiming, right? Like I don't want my aiming to be toggle. I want it to be hold uh, ADS and um, yeah, not toggle. So clearly that's not on. All right, let's, let's keep looking. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, toggle aim is off, cool. Uh, that's great. AI difficulty medium, I guess. Mid. Graphics. So we have graphics on high right now. All of it's going to be on high and it's going to stay like that. Um, I might try epic later on, but for now, let's just try high on everything. Let's leave the, let's leave everything the way it is. Oh, except for this. FPS limit should be off. V-Sync off, please. That is, uh, things that I definitely don't want on. Now, when we're talking about master volume, let's drop that down to at least 50 for now. See how that is. If it's good, then uh, we'll, we'll continue with it. So, let's go ahead. Let's enter the hideout, man. This is pretty exciting. I usually play VR games. You guys already know. Usually when I go live, I play VR. And I apologize if you guys hear a plate. I just got home from work. <laughs> I didn't eat anything yet, so I'm eating and playing at the same time. All right. Shooting reigns. Uh, sorry, shooting range. Why did I say shooting range? Anyway, shooting range contains a number of targets, blah, blah, blah. Ammo's unlimited. Got it. That's all I need to know. Oh, look at that. Got ourselves uh, 74 already. Oh, man, this game actually feels kind of good. Yeah, right off the bat, aiming feels pretty good. Everything here feels good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels great, man. This feels like um, ready or not. Like, right off the bat, that's the first thing I can feel, is uh, gameplay similarities with Ready or Not, and a little bit of um, Insurgency, definitely Insurgency, and very, very minuscule, but Tarkov, right? Just, just the way everything looks. I forgot I, I have unlimited ammo. I was wondering why I don't have to reload, but anyway. Uh, let's check this out. So interact with terminal. Let's see what this is about Squid welcome to the stream, bro today. We are playing a different game. Hopefully you enjoy it. This is a brand new game So let's see what this is all about. All right, so we have a uh, we have a terminal here I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's read this a little bit Welcome to the Vietnamese Liberation Front your decision to join us marks a significant step in our struggle for freedom here at VLF we're driven by passion resilience or Resi yeah, resilience and a deep love for our homeland. <clears throat> um, 
we will pave way to a free Vietnam. So I'm not too sure what the story is here. Um, I didn't really read into it on the uh, Steam page. I just know it's in Vietnam, right? Like it's because my girl is from Vietnam. So like I know what Vietnam looks like. Um, so right off the bat, I noticed that. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that. Oh, this is different. Sorry, I haven't been here. I was kind of busy. Plants? <laughs> oh man, plants. All right, now I gotta call you plants, bro. But I was so used to tiger. Well, welcome to the stream, bro. Hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah, this is different. Uh, we're playing a desktop game rather than a VR game. But uh, hopefully it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never played this game before, so I have zero hours on it. So we have a trader here. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, we have real firearm names. Beautiful sign. Also, we are able to buy an M4A1. Um, the game doesn't have a ton of firearms yet, from my understanding. Like, it really has just the bare bones stuff, but it looks good. Right? We have the guns that I personally love in real life, so I'm okay with that. Uh, including the MCX Rattler and the Virtus, so that's pretty cool. Um, Alright, let's just look around the base real quick because I still don't know what we have. Wow, look at this, dude. So I don't know if we have any inspecting tools here. Alright, hold on. Your stash is where all of your equipment is stored. Manage your loadout, weapon attachments, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Alright, let's open the stash. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we do have AKs, a bunch of AKs. A lot of the layout here is just like Tarkov. What's this game about? Vietnam, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so... I haven't read the game description on Steam, but this is an extraction shooter, just like Ghost of Tabor, just like uh, Escape from Tarkov. The only difference is this is a PvE experience. So you're not going to be killing players, you're going to be killing um, AI. And a lot of people have been waiting for a game like this, so including me. Like I've been waiting to play a game like Escape from Tarkov, but just with AI. And this is exactly it. So, and yeah, it's based in Vietnam. Apparently, there's some sort of a, um, I'm assuming some sort of a war going on, maybe civil war. Because here in the email from Cypher, it says, uh, we will pave the way to a free Vietnam. So, I'm a, yeah, like there, are, it says even here, like, um, significant step in our struggle for freedom. So, something's happening in the country. And I'm assuming that we're part of this Liberation Army. Um, that's it. That's all I know right now. <laughs> Let's experience the game together, ladies and gentlemen. So, I don't know. How do I get out of here? Like, this is... I don't really know. Like, again, I don't know how to play this. I've never played it. So, I don't know if we have to leave through here or something. Alright, whatever. Let's just... Uh... Oh, hold on. No, it's not that. Is it here? job board hold on oh yeah there's a deploy button right here oh, i should have seen that um no map selected let's select this map here now what do we do hold on job board okay greetings from here the warehouse is question sorry the warehouse in question is a significant d depot for uics I'm not too sure what uics is i'm assuming that's the opposing team that we're fighting um blah 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 Something with a remote detonator. All right, let's track it. Can we track multiple? No, we can only track one at a time. Okay, whatever. Let's do the first one here. Let's go ahead and deploy. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, custom loadout. Let's just go for it. Let's see what this is. Again, I am eating while playing. I ex Just excuse me. All right, I'm going to try and be silent when I eat. <laughs> I just got home from work. I didn't have time for anything. I just wanted to hop on because I was so excited to play. Okay game settings what are we doing oh I can't really see the UI I feel like the UI needs some work if the developers ever watch this live stream or the video afterwards yeah UI kind of needs some work it's kind of hard to see some things already when you're in game but I mean let me just spawn in and see all right welcome to the quarry this is currently the only map of the EA version, Early Access, that's what EA stands for. It has several points of interest, such as the factory, a military base, and of course, the quarry. Okay. 
The Global Combat Positioning System, GCPS, lets you view the map and shows all possible extraction zones and objective locations. You can also see your teammates positions. By default, you can draw the G GCPS with four. Take a look at, okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, so four, okay. That's clean, I like that. So this is the whole map for now. <clears throat> Early access, which means we don't have everything at our disposal just yet, but uh, hopefully it's still, it's still a lot. So we do have our trusty AK. Now, holding R is to check ammo. I literally just tried that because I think Escape from Tarkov has something similar. Uh, what is this? Loot container, okay. Uh, injection, adrenaline injection, okay. So that takes up two slots. That's kind of weird. You guys can see the picture there. It's kind of like, it should take up two slots vertically, but instead it's horizontal. So it's a little bit weird, but anyway, not going to talk about that. The checking ammo thing is cool. Oh yeah, for sure. I love games that actually have that feature. Uh, a lot of games are now inspired by Tarkov and are using that feature, so it's pretty cool. I don't think I have a secondary. Oh, I lied. <laughs> Let's check the ammo on this. What was this, a Glock 19? This looks like it has a custom slide on it though. All right, so leaning, right? We have leaning in the game. Leaning doesn't seem to really, hold on, does it actually work? Cause it kind of looks like it doesn't. Oh yeah, it works, okay. Let me get, go into settings real quick. Something is very wrong with this. I think it's motion blur. It's, it's really ugly. <laughs> The motion blur is ugly. I don't like it in any game, to be honest. Field of view. Let's bump. Let's crank that up to 110. Um, motion blur. That's already off. What the hell? Huh. Okay, let's apply that. All right, that looks better a little bit, even though eh, it's a little weird. Let's just go with it. So let's. Oh, oh, we have keybinds here too. I to inspect gun. Cool. Let me get another thumbnail because I actually took the thumbnail off Steam. So let me just get another quick thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. This game looks really good. It's not like perfect. I don't know how, what my frames are actually. But I heard that this game will drop your frames significantly because it is uh, an early access. But that's okay. I like that he puts the safety on when he puts the firearm away. Very realistic. Let me just pull up the um, GCPS. That's going to be hard to remember, but we'll just pull that up. So, okay, we're going to check out this compound first. I should have went this way because there's a little bit less going on, and at least I can practice. But it's okay. We're going to go to this compound first, so just to my left here. Let's see what this is about. Hopefully, everything is pretty good, like AI-wise. Because so far, I'm impressed with the game. And um, if it's like Tarkov, but with PvE, I'm all for it, man. I can't wait. Let's try this out. Yeah, so if you guys see it, I don't know if you guys can see it on stream. It's very blurry. Like, everything's very blurry. But motion blur's not even turned on. I think I hear... I think I hear someone. I hear someone, yeah. I think it's over here I don't have a suppressor so we're gonna we're gonna have to go in loud I think Ooh, some fails right there floating uh floating all right I don't know why I'm already hip firing but there was a hip fire I think it is a point-and-click type of thing let's go ahead and loot this guy see what's up Okay, so he's got an AK. I can't fit the AK in my back. Can I fold the stock and then fit it in? I don't think that's an option. Can I fold my own stock? No. Okay, so I don't really know what to take for now. Let's just take the magazines. And that's all this guy has. So let's just keep looting. Hopefully there is a lot of stuff to do. I know the mission is uh, to blow up something, but... Hopefully there's something to do. I might get this game. It seems good. Yes, it is pretty good so far. And you know what? It's not even expensive. I think right now it's only 16 bucks. 16.99. Well, Canadian with tax. It's like it was like 20 bucks, I think, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and check the watchtower. This is probably a dumb idea, but I just want to see. I just want kind of like an overview. I can already tell 
Oh, 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 oh. Already getting shot. Holy shit, okay. Let's take out our rifle here. Hopefully it's in semi. I can't tell. Okay, now it's in semi. Where did bro go? Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there he is, there he is. I'm not trying to waste ammo here. Man, it's, it's so weird playing on mouse again. I haven't played on mouse for a while. Alright, that should have been a headshot. I think I hear a guy underneath me somewhere. Let's just keep going for now. Yeah, I don't really see anyone here. I don't know what we can loot and what we can't loot because... Nothing is sticking out. Nothing's too obvious. You know what I mean? Like, glowing boxes or... Very obvious loot boxes. I, I don't see any. Let's see if maybe we can loot. See, like, I can't open these. I just checked. It's 11 pounds. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Or I'm hope, I hope I'm getting that currency right. I think it is pounds. Uh, yeah. It's probably a little bit cheaper than Canadian dollars, but... but yeah, let's see, uh... Dude, I'm a little bit lost. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yeah, it's pounds. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is it going to pop up there? Oh, yeah. NPCs aren't actually that dumb. But he's not firing, which is kind of weird. Oh, I got him. He's, he's dead. I didn't even notice. There was a guy back here that I killed. Wait, no. Where was the guy that I killed? Hold on. Let me see. My point of view. Okay, it should be here. He should be right here. But he's not. Or maybe over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think this is him. Oh, man, we got an M4. Beautiful. The only problem is I can't fold the stock on this gun, so I can't store it. Like, I want to store it. Hold on. Okay, this is in a holster. My secondary item is not compatible. Hmm. That's very odd. Let's move these. Um, we have an OC, old communicator. Got you. Do not know what that is. Duct tape. For now, that's it. This guy's got a different helmet. I don't know if his helmet's better than mine. Let's just put ours in our inventory. And let's put this one on. Check it out. Um, as for everything else, man, I need to take this M4. So let's drop the AK. It's kind of probably a mistake. <laughs> but let's look at this. Oh, look at that, man. Beautiful. Not the best M4 model I've seen, but it's uh, it's pretty nice. Awkward little MRDS on top, though. Oh, I'll do a chamber check or ammo check. I forgot about that. Okay. So, so currently I'm just walking. Like I'm hardly sprinting because I kind of want to take in the scenery. I want to take in everything that's happening. Oh. Okay, the AI might not be as smart as I thought it, they would be. And I think he did die. Yeah, he should have been killed. Alright, let's keep looting this guy. Can you mod guns in this? Uh, by mod guns, do you mean just like... Like, um... Like, slapping attachments on it? Because if that is what you're asking, then yes. Yes, you can. Let's unload this one on the ground. Oh, sorry, that's his unequip. I'm so stupid. I thought it said unload. I, I want to take the magazine out of this one. But I can't. Oh, we have a bigger backpack. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's put that on. Shit. Uh, okay. This. We can actually go back for one of those AKs. And I think I will. Take that off. Put that on. Better chest rig, too. This guy has a... Uh, a bigger chest rig. Let's put those in there. Drop this one. Boom. Already got some good loot. <laughs> like changing the barrel and stuff. Yes. Um, I believe 
there is a very in-depth customization system in this game and I'll show you that just uh, in a little bit but first I'm just gonna complete this mission I'm gonna go back for my AK real quick actually let's see what the other guy had I'm not like super crazy about AKs I'm an M4 AR platform type of guy so let's just uh, check if this guy has another one okay looks clear all right, so he does have an AK. Let's try and store that. Oh, 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 oh. Not too sure where I got shot from. I don't see anyone. Okay. I think I'm going to put crouch on toggle because it's kind of annoying me that I have to hold crouch for that. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can loot him without dying. Another AK. We have more mags. Uh, what's this? Hard drive? Perfect. Just like freaking, uh, man. So much taken from Escape from Tarkov and, and Ghost of Tabor. I'm not saying they're copying. What I'm saying is, like, there's just a lot of influence and, like, um, yeah, I think just influence. I don't really know what else to call it. So we're able to fit the AK in the backpack. Perfect. It says I have night vision. Do I have night? No, I don't have night vision. All right, let's try and loot this guy now. So the players, or I mean, sorry, the AI, they're not carrying anything crazy, but they're carrying enough, I guess. Let's see if we can open this door, because so far we haven't been able to open anything. What the hell is that? So a little, uh, a little we're, we're pretty low on rounds here. So let's see if we can breach this. We can actually, we can peek through the door. We can open it regularly or we can just unlock it. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I think unlock comes first. Let's try and unlock it first. Okay. And let's peek. Looks clear. Now that box up there looks lootable. So obviously we're going to try and loot that. Already cleared right. I don't know why I looked right. That was a bad, bad way to clear. Oh yeah, this is all clear. Okay, let's see what's in here. An AK mag. That's literally it. The peeking and stuff is nice. Yeah, the peeking is very nice. I like it too. F to loot. Okay. Uh, we have a motherboard. Another hard drive and another adrenaline syringe. I can't carry too much stuff though, so um, I'm gonna actually wait. Can I put this in my? No, I can't. Hold on. Let me put the mag here. There, that frees up a little bit of space. I don't know if you can rotate objects yet. I haven't tried. But let's uh, let's keep going. Yeah, that's just outside. Should be clear. Oh, dude, I thought that was a person. <laughs> that was so bad. Another uh, little hidden container here. Let's see what's up. Shotgun shells and graphics card? Yeah. This is some classic-ass graphics card. I hear, I hear someone. I don't know if that's... I think that might be behind me, like, past the fence. Or the wall. Holy shit, that's not a fence. Uh... Oh, there's like a whole camp here, dude. This is pretty damn cool. And I think there is also dynamic weather because it was sunny a couple seconds ago, but now it's now it's not. I think this is also enterable. All right, so I, I can recognize the doors now that are enterable. At least a little bit more. Okay, this is all clear. Um... None of this is lootable, unfortunately. We have little ammo boxes and whatnot, but nothing's lootable. So these, so far, these kinds of um, boxes, those big, big green ones. Yeah, these are the only ones that are lootable. And a very small crate, like the very small wooden crate ones. More graphics. Yeah, I can't carry any of this stuff, unfortunately. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep uh, exploring. 
pretty empty. I thought there was going to be a lot more enemies. Yeah, not much. Let's go ahead and see what the fall damage is like. If we can even... Uh, I don't actually think we can... Uh... Okay, the jumping needs work. <laughs> a little bit. I feel like uh, we can't really jump high enough there, but that's okay. That's okay, early access. What's this? Painkillers? Cool, cool, cool. First little medical device. Well, not a device, sorry. Like a little med... Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, okay? <laughs> I'm just exploring. They should add vaulting. Yes, yes, they should. But you know what? Because it's such an... It, the game literally just came out. Like, literally yesterday, I think. So, with that being said, like, there's a lot that's missing. You can already tell. Like, this whole entire room is just completely empty. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's check our GCPS again. Kind of in the open, but it's okay. We have another... Oh, we have a helicopter, it looks like, over here. I'm going to go and visit this area here, but I'm kind of curious about the main area right here. So it says, go to the warehouse and place the bombs. Extract. Wait, I didn't even place any bombs, but it says I'm 5 out of 2? Seems good so far for a new game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I could see some insane potential here. But if I'll be honest, is it worth 16 bucks already or something like that? I don't know. Like for sure it's going to be worth it 100%. I can feel it. But uh, as of right now, because of all the missing content, I don't know. And the AI, they're kind of clueless. Oh, we have a drum mag. Holy shit. Ah, oh, that doesn't fit anywhere, dude. Can I... You know what? We are actually out of rounds. Can we swap out... Oh, let me try this. Inspect. Okay, we can swap out attachments and magazines with tab. Or sorry, if we inspect the weapon. This... Okay, you cannot lie and say this doesn't look like Tarkov. Because this is exactly Tarkov. Uh... Shit. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now, do I still have one in the chamber? Because I took the magazine out, but my gun was loaded. I'm curious if there's one in the chamber. There is. That is cool. <laughs> I like the little details. Alright, let's load this up. Perfect. Oh, he hits the, um... He hits the, uh, forward assist. Very unexpected. Let's change to the Glock. Let's see what the Glock is like. I think I only shot this thing like once. So we have a chopper. Can't enter the chopper, unfortunately. But that's expected, obviously, because then we can just fly out of here. Um, big hangar. Doesn't look like there's anything in this hangar. No. It's kind of empty, honestly. Okay, more NATO rounds. And then we have a spray can. Don't know what that would be for, but okay. Let's just keep all that in there. I'm not really interested in that. Can't open that one. Is it going to pop up on the left side there? Maybe around that crate? I think I dropped him. Kind of looked like he... Uh, he died there. Yeah, he's down. Alright, so we're empty on rounds here. Let's reload. So I had one in the chamber, I assume, because he didn't rack the slide back. You deserve more viewers. You're a good streamer, bro. Thank you so much, Squid. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to um, kind of share it around because I don't really know where to share my streams to. Otherwise, I would do that. What is this? 
old radio. And then we have more duct tape. I kind of want to take the M4 magazine here. But actually, we're kind of stocked on mags. I don't think we need it. And the AK mag. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to trade out the AK mag for the M4. Because we're clearly holding an M4. So we don't need uh, AK rounds. I would go to TikTok if you want to get more viewers. Yeah, I have I actually have a TikTok. And I've been posting my Ghost of Tabor clips on TikTok. But I'm not really getting much love yet. We have... Wait. I am so dumb. We have a, an eating system in this? Can I eat this? Hold on. Respect. I don't know if actually... Hold on. No, I don't have slots for it. Let's drop the five, seven rounds for a sec. Let's kind of see if we can eat. No, we can't eat. Okay, it's just uh, something sellable, I assume. What's your TikTok? Uh, my TikTok is Z370Z. Or, sorry, Z. I don't know. Um, people pronounce it differently, but Z or Z. It's at the uh, beginning and the end. The name actually means uh, 370Z, the car. Because that's what I used to own. So that's where I got the name from. And you'll notice it's me. Because uh, <laughs> I have um, some Ghost of Tabor clips on there. Or you know what? What I could do, if you guys could give me a sec here, actually. Because I definitely want more of you guys in here. At least that way you guys could see the game as well. Just going to do a quick share. Oh. Is your name Theo? I'm going to strongly assume... I probably shouldn't have said your name on stream. Oh, uh, that is you. Okay, cool. I'll follow back. I'm trying to make a quick little video for TikTok. That way I can uh, spread some love. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that right now because it takes too long. You do Airsoft too. Yes, I do. <clears throat> I do. And eventually, I should be getting into um, real sports shooting. I will be getting my firearms license very soon. It's just that currently I'm waiting because the laws are shit here. So... Just want to see what happens. Okay, this building looks like an exact replica of the other one. Unfortunately. Yeah, this one. Okay, I'm not even going to go through that door. This one's basically an exact replica. Lock door. Kind of weird. Um, let's go to a different POI because this is kind of blank. You know, the funny thing is I wanted to stream this game... For at least, well, the whole, the whole stream. I want to stream it for like two, two and a half hours. But if the game doesn't have more than this, we're, we might be in trouble. <laughs> um, well, let's see, man. Let's see. Oh, this is extraction. Okay, let's not go there yet. I want to start but don't know how to. You want to start Airsoft? You know what? This game's a little bit more blank than I thought. 
The airsoft. Okay. You know what? Um, really, there's really not much to... How do I say this? Airsoft's easy to get into. The only issue with airsoft is that it's extremely expensive. Like, yes, you can get into it cheap and you can rent gear and guns um, at certain airsoft fields. But if you want some top-notch shit, if you want, like, like guns like this, like close to real steel and something that feels realistic, something that handles very well, um, you know, something that has expensive internals, stuff like that, it costs a lot, man. Like, it costs a lot, I'm telling you. I've spent thousands of dollars on Airsoft. On TikTok, you'll see me reloading what appears to be like an M4. It's an AR platform type of gun. Uh, it's got an... Um... Oh, shit, I forgot what the name is. Hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to think about it. A oh, food container, cool. It has a um, RGP Raptors handguard. Uh, Daniel Defense stock stuff like that that one cost me around a thousand just for the gun <laughs> Just for the gun. Oh look at this dude. We get to uh, actually put on an ACOG. Let me let me try this Oh, that looks beautiful if we can keep this little uh, How do you pronounce this again? Leipold? Leipold Delta Point? I forgot how to pronounce it Let's get rid of the food Keep the red dot. Ooh. ACOG is not terrible, but that doesn't really feel like an ACOG. I don't like that it zooms in the whole screen. Airsoft seems fun. I might start out renting first to get a feel for it. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's definitely fun, I'm telling you. But it's painful as well. Not super painful. You know, you can definitely take it. It's just a little bit painful, especially when you first start. But when you get used to it, it will still hurt. <laughs> it's just going to be less painful. All right, let's see where we are uh, going right now. All right, so we got to take a left up here. Ooh, hold up. Got a little bit of a secret spot here. P320 magazine. Don't need that. Old flashlight. And then we got a PK... Sorry, PK06. Oops, I hit my uh, thingy-majiggy. So this here, fun fact, this is actually from um, Ghost of Tabor, this optic. It's a real optic, obviously, but that is what it's from. Um, it's the only way I can explain it to you guys without making it confusing. It's from Ghost of Tabor. Yeah, I apologize for the lack of talking all of a sudden because... I kind of expected more from this game, but I'm just not seeing it right now. Let's go to the main compound and see what's up. Maybe there's something we're missing. Let me just take a bite of my food while I'm running up these uh, roads. Got a little texture bug there. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not it. That's not a texture bug. My apologies. That's meant to be in the game. Hmm. What am I eating? Uh, potatoes and pasta. <laughs> I don't know the name for it. My parents made it. It's more of um, a Hungarian dish. Can't quite remember the name. Oh, what is that? Is this a sign for something? Got, got a little bit of graffiti action going on. A lot of emptiness, man. A lot of emptiness. Let's pull out the Glock. Oh, that's not a Glock. <laughs> Holy shit. That would have got me killed. Um... We're in close range proximity here, so I'm not really going to go with a rifle. It doesn't really make any sense. It's too bad it can't hold, like, an actual secondary. What is this? 
Zenitco Clash uh, Laser. Let's slap that on and see what's up. How do I activate this? B? What is B? What the hell is B? Hey, where's my gun? Uh, I don't know how to activate. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That shit is bright. <laughs> you can see that from space. This looks like a gun case, and it is. There's really nothing I want from this gun. Oh, look, look, look. You can take... I'm so stupid, dude. Why didn't I try that before? You can take the stock off, which obviously reduces the amount of space that the firearm takes in your backpack. Oh, man, I'm so dumb. You can take the dust cover off, too, in-game. And everything else, obviously. But the dust cover? Pretty damn cool. Now, these here, the handguard, the pistol grip, you should not be able to take this off in the field because... It requires you to actually use tools, especially the pistol grip. But for some reason, you're able to do that. You're able to take it off. But the guns become unusable if you take off certain parts, which makes sense. Um, but the dust cover, yeah, that, that you can take off and use. Pretty cool. I like that. Glad I found that out before it was too late. Mom's food is always the best. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I don't live with my mom but yeah I would say yeah the like parents food usually is really good I can cook too but as you can see I'm playing in game so I don't have time to cook uh dude you know what this game is very empty it's, it's, it's a little bit unfortunate because I feel like I'm going to be walking around 90% of the time and I won't come across anyone. I think I heard someone actually, as I said that. I think they're in there. Let's go in there. Uh, in a sec here, I'm just going to... Yeah, there's more warehouses. Let's just go in, see what's up. I like this. I like the catwalk and the... I like these structures. This reminds me of Battlefield 4. There was a very famous map. I, I used to love that map. Can't remember the name now, but it used to be really good. Where? Where the hell did I get shot from? Okay, Broski's dead. What's up, buddy? Damn, son. You got dropped quick. Yeah, same old stuff. Mm, it's a little bit unfortunate. <clears throat> For the stream, I may have to switch to a different game. Same Glock sounds? Hold on, let me listen. I think you might be right. I think you might be right on that. I'm not too concerned about the gun sounds uh, in games anymore. Like Call of Duty, they still have the best audio for guns. Um, maybe some other games like Ready or Not, you know, like indie indie games or any PC game. But nowadays, because realistically, if you think about it, all guns almost sound the same. Almost. Um, there's different variations like... You know, there's a difference between a 9mm and a 50 caliber, but for the most part, most guns sound the same. Except for the uh, EBR. The EBR feels like it wants to be special. <laughs> it, it just, it clings so loud. I'm going to try and hip fire this guy. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there's two of them. Are they looking for me? Wait, are they checking my last position? Hold on, hold on. I want to see how in-depth in depth the uh, AI is. I kind of just want to... Hey, you know what? They're not actually bad. And then they're obviously going to rush that position, I assume, or take cover near the spot they saw me in. Hey, where did they go now? <laughs> oh, yeah. They did, they did push. And then they're going to push around maybe? No, no, he's still here.
I like the footstep sounds. They sound pretty cool. Hey, I think I okay, gotta reload. I think that was actually one of my last rounds there. Let me just switch to the M4. Very impractical because it's so... It's zoomed in a lot. Alright, this guy's buddy ran away again. I, I don't know what's going on. Let's just loot this. Loot this dude. Okay, he's got an AK. Where did he... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what this... Okay, that was very awkward. Maybe the AI needs a little bit of work, but... I mean, overall, it's not bad. They do what they're supposed to, at least. And their movement is actually not bad. MP5 mag, another AR-15 mag, so let's grab that. Let's again throw out one of these AK mags and swap it out. Apparently, no one hears my gunshots. Is my game like... Or sorry, are my guns just suppressed without me knowing? <laughs> What am I supposed to plant a bomb on again? Like, why am I so... Place bomb... Oh, Norton security popped up. My apologies. Place bomb, go to the warehouse and place the bombs. Five out of two. Like, I'm still so confused on that. What does that mean? What bombs, dude? I didn't. I don't even have any bombs. What? That doesn't even make any sense. It, it doesn't even tell me where to place the bomb. It just says place bombs. Where? Just throw them on the warehouse? Like on the door? On the on the walls? Like what's up? Oh, got another weapons case. Nothing in that one, unfortunately. Can you see anyone? Seems clear. Okay. I'm gonna loot a little bit more and then we're going to extract. Found an AUG mag. That fires a 556, so actually we could unload that and use it. I'm just trying to think ahead of the curve here because uh I'm just used to games like this. You guys already know. Go to more. <clears throat> what the frag man? Something just lagged there for a sec. Or gave me a spike. Am I just... Is this lootable? Oh, this is lootable. Forgot about this case. More painkillers. Alright, we'll keep that on us. We are actually low on health. Let's do this. Let's try a painkiller. Use med. Let's see what it looks like. Wait, what? Am I supposed to equip it somehow? I don't know. I don't think so. There was no animation for it though, unfortunately. Oh, we get to go across. More M4 mags. Don't need it right now, actually. I'm stacked. I still have a drum mag. Yeah, drum mag's still full. I didn't even shoot this. I shot it once. Same old stuff. Same old stuff. Devs, if you guys are going to watch this later, or if you guys are watching this now, I don't know. Um, I love your game. This game's great. I could see insane potential. I'm telling you. Like, this feels like Ghost of Tabor. I'm uh, sorry. Oh, not Ghost of Tabor. <laughs> this feels like Tarkov. It feels like Insurgency. It feels like Ready or Not. Like, the environment is beautiful. Gunplay is fantastic. Everything about the game is really good. But shit, man, it's blank. Uh. Hold on, ladies and gents.
Over here. All right, sorry about that, ladies and gents. I heard a knock on my door, but uh, yeah, it was a little bit weird. I wouldn't have, I, you know, I wouldn't have gone so spooked if the knock on my door was a normal knock, but it wasn't. It was like in a pattern, right? It, like people are so freaking weird, man. And it wasn't anyone that I know, obviously, because I made sure to check if there's a car. <laughs> it's just weird, dude. I don't know. People are so weird. If you're going to knock on a stranger's door, just knock normally. Don't freaking put it in a pattern. What the hell was that? Did you? Why did it put the... Uh... Hold on. I can't equip it. Never mind. It put the laser like on the top rail rather than the side. Or right, what are we doing? What, what like? I was talking about how great the game was, and I still mean that. But uh, but yeah, it's got some issues. Things that really need to be fixed. Or just added. There, there needs to be things added to the game. Simple as that. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's make it to an extraction. And see what the extraction looks like. Now, I know there's an extraction where the plane is. I see none on the map. But there's also another one here. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Hmm, what did you miss? Uh, it's just me ranting about a weird person who knocked on my door in real life. But they, they were knocking in a pattern. Which is weird because it's not a person that I know. Like, I didn't even answer the door. Because it's just weird. People are, I don't know why people tend to do that stuff. Like, if you're a stranger, bro, <laughs> knock on the door normally. Like a normal person. Don't give me no patterns. Like, it's just, it's, it's just strange my opinion okay back in base check the terminal um so we actually completed we completed one of the missions so here's our reward Wait, what am i supposed to do with this though like it gave me the reward here right open 
But what am I supposed to do with it if I can't store it? It's kind of weird. Let's go to our stash. <clears throat> oh, we can rotate. So if you hold an object, just like, um, just like, um, Escape from Tarkov, you can press R and it will rotate it. We have a weapons box here. Didn't even see that. <laughs> Put the M4 in my other spot there. That's okay. Um, let's put in all the mags. Not all the mags, half the mags. Let's put the helmet in here and the ammo. Just gonna put most of the stuff in there. I'm gonna see how much this stuff is worth, actually. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Magazine, flip it, and beautiful. Put it there. So these things, like the old communicators, radio, stuff like that, I think they need to go in here. Should I get Tarkov too? Um, Tarkov is a very, very highly skilled game at this point. Like if you, you can definitely get it. It's fun, but I do warn you, it's hard. <laughs> like people nowadays are crazy in Tarkov. They are very good at the game. That's why I don't play it anymore. I'll be honest, I'm not as good as they are, and it's kind of just a bummer. Like, every time you hop in, you hop in with good loot. Like, if you hop in with an M4 in Tar in uh, Tarkov, and you die, like, that's it. <laughs> you, you lose it, and it's hard to get an M4. A lot of items in that game are expensive. Um, I don't know. I would say, yeah, get Tarkov just to have it, and, like, it's, again, still fun to play, but... It's gotta take some time to learn. You gotta be patient with it. Anyway, I don't think I need. Look, all of this stuff. Okay, let's put the helmets in here. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, perfect. Get that vest out of here, because that's huge. Open this one, and then we'll put the other vest in here and the other helmet. MP5, we'll. Can we. No, we can't put that in there. Um. For now, let's just leave it like that. At least we have some extra space, because we have no room. And now the communicator can go there. Perfect. All right, so let's go to the trader. Hold on. Something about the audio, so familiar. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Something about it's so familiar though. Not enough space. Still? Uh, let's go weapons. I want to buy the Virtus. I, are you kidding me? I'm $10 off. Oh, you have an unlocked rarity tier three. So here are the rarity uh, tiers, right? Huh. Hold on. What the hell is going on in my freaking place? Now I'm hearing some weird ass sounds outside my room. I hear like spraying or something. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway. I just want my money, bro. Let's go back to the trader. Can we sell shit? Mm. Okay, so if I wanted to sell something, I just can't. Oh, okay. We can sell stuff. It's just kind of like hidden. It didn't even tell me how much I'm getting for it. What? Screw it. Let's just sell everything. It's separating the money. Like, it's literally separating it. It's kind of weird. Put it together. Here we go. $5,600 is how much we have right now. Um, we did find, like I said earlier, we did find a helmet. Well, maybe we can sell that too. I'm kind of curious how much the helmets are worth, so let's sell one. 
384. That's like literally dog shit. <laughs> like what? $384 for a badass helmet like that. Oh, here we go. Receive rewards. Beautiful. Okay. So we basically just received. Wait, where's uh, where's our reward? I see the money, but where is the backpack? Ah, well, I'm so confused. Hold on. Magazine, yeah, no, where's uh, let's put the magazines in here. We don't need all these M4 and MP5 mags just roaming around. Put those up here put the rounds in this little square man i need to be organized every game i play <laughs> organization man it's key there we go makes me feel a little bit better seeing it organized like perfect okay let's go see if we can buy another gun now there's really nothing else to do except buy guns no, I need to be tier three. Okay, how do I get to tier three? Okay, so reputation. Hmm. We have challenges as well. Use UICS. Kill five with a headshot, bro. That's not even hard. I'm just gonna track all of these. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, I didn't even read this one. So I guess we have to do contracts for the UICS to track that. Um, it kind of weird. Kill five with a sniper rifle. How? We don't have one. Okay. So if you guys notice, all of these contracts here, or challenges as they call them. They have the same exact challenge. So if I complete one, I complete all of them. Like, like what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna play another one. All right. But I, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing this much longer today. I might switch to COD for a little bit or a different game. Because, uh,. Yeah, this is kind of an empty game right now on top of that there's no music there's no there's really nothing it's so quiet dude it's hard to play a game that is so quiet vr is different because vr is immersive you're in there but games like this it's just so quiet dude expected weather sunshine okay uh let's go oh i don't have uh, Oh, I forgot to grab a gun, dude. I forgot to grab a gun. I literally have a Glock, and that's it. I apologize. I think I touched the mic by accident. I'm not used to playing on a desktop. Bug. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oops. Any more bugs? I'm pretty sure I just... Yeah, there we go. Five. Same spawn. Same suitcase. Basically the same shit. Actually, no. I can't remember what was in that, uh, in that one last time hell is this well it looks like a gold bar <laughs> got a little scooter here scooter action okay let's take out our glock check the ammo okay we got a full mag perfect one mag is enough we'll, we'll take out freaking army with it we're gonna go to the main objective this time which is oh here okay so this time they're actually marked on the map. So we do have our OBJs right here. So install a bug. 
Uh, let's go do that. Let's go do all these. Pretty cool. Because I, I swear, the last contract didn't show me anything. How long are you going to be live streaming for? Uh, 6.30. Usual time. 6.30. How do I get there? What the hell, bro? This is a whole ass mountain. Um, hold on. Let me see the fastest way to get around. Okay, so the fastest way to get around should be here, which is behind me. Okay. Perfect. I think this is a way up. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I was drinking water, that's why. Oh, I seen a guy to my right. I'm gonna go take him out quick so I can grab his rifle. Come on, bottle cap. Why are you not cooperating with me? Oh! Did you see me? How did you see me? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, oh, I seen this guy, but I was hoping he wouldn't peek just yet. I'm trying to loot this dude's body. I don't know if you can go prone in this game. I haven't tried. Oh, MP5, dude. Something different. Nice. Uh, motherboard. That's all we're getting from him. MP5. Let's go. This is the MP5K, I believe. Yeah, MP5K. I have to double check that. <clears throat> hey, we got Fang over here. Whoa, 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 what? Why did that sound like it was right beside me? Wait, what? Wait, where was he? Dude, uh, that's my first death. I didn't even see the guy. I, I swear, before I died there, I thought I seen a muzzle flash in the rock. Or in the rocks, I mean. Yeah, where did he shoot me from? I, I don't know. I swear I seen him in the rocks. Ah, uh, I failed the job. What about the challenges? No, that's fine. So, what the hell? What am I playing? Go to the container houses near the quarry and install bugs. Okay, this is the same mission. Let's try this again. So because we died, we don't have anything. Yeah, we're, we're completely blank. Um, let's grab a Glock. Grab our chest rig, uh, go with a helmet. That's all we're gonna enter with. We got one magazine and a Glock, which should be enough for us to get a gun once again. And then, uh, We'll see. We'll see what's up. Like, who knows? I might stream this the entire time. Because if I could keep going through these missions, there might be a lot to do. Right? Like, there might be a lot of missions to do. Maybe a lot of loot to collect. I don't know. Kind of weird, is this mission supposed to be in the dark? Because I have been spawning in during the night this whole time. Okay. Uh, I forgot my backpack. And I can't put these anywhere else. That is so strange. Shit, dude. Oh, man, how did I forget the backpack? Okay, we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to that camp. What? There, dude. Okay, can't take any of this, but let's use some medicine. Yo, 
Oh, am I blind? Hold on. I'm literally like putting my face into my monitor right now. Where? Oh, him? Well, how does he see me? Yeah, he's dead. How did he see me? That's crazy. Yeah, no, I didn't see him at first, but I, I got him now. <clears throat> Hoping he has a backpack. I'm trying to look around. I know I'm not moving my player sometimes, but I am looking around. Was he not over here? Oh yeah, back here, back here. He has a backpack. Cool. And he has an AK for us with a wooden pistol grip. Kind of interesting. I like that. Uh, backpack. Put that on. Let's go back to the bug. Or, sorry, bugs. Because there's more. Why do they call it just bug, though? Like, why not name it, like, a certain device? Kind of weird. Kind of weird, man. It looks like a tracking device or something. Let me know if you guys have trouble seeing. I can try and turn the game brightness up. Actually, you know what? Let's do that because I can't see anything. Uh, graphics. Hold on. I don't think. What's Lumen? Illumination method. Experimental. Okay. Let's not use that then. FPS is still limited to 60. I already changed that. And VSync is still on for some reason. Okay, just I'm just bumping things up. Oh, here we go, dudes. I think I figured out why my game looks like shit. Oh, dude, that fixes it. I am so sorry, everyone. Can't wait until they have Phoenix and Tabor with backpacks and stuff. Oh, me too. That's going to be fun. At least we can have more loot. Okay, so unfortunately, ladies and gents, there's no there's no um, brightness adjuster. Yeah, so we're kind of stuck on this. Wow, my game feels a hundred times better. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are also seeing it. It's so much better. It's way more clear, less blur, and my FPS is not capped anymore. Uh, like, I knew I was running 60, but I thought that was the game that was causing the 60 frames. Because people did say that it's um, not very optimized. But, now I see that I was capped the entire time. Okay, here we go. More AR mags, and then we got a P320, but I don't think I'll be finding any of those. Alright, let's pull out the AK. Make sure this is chambered and loaded. I can't check if it's chambered, actually. I can only check if it's loaded. Kind of weird. Um, make sure it's in semi. That's not, that's not the selector switch. Okay. We are in semi. Now we're not supposed to be in this location. Yeah, we're supposed to be up here. The reason why I came here again is because actually I needed to go up here anyways, but I thought there'd be people here. So I was expecting to get shot. That's why I, uh, I came up here first. But anyway, let's move on with the trail here. Hopefully I don't get shot by a rock again. Because that, that wasn't good. Even at night, this game looks pretty damn phenomenal. Like, obviously because it's dark, there's less detail. But, oh, look at that. Is that a moon? Is that a red moon or am I tripping? Oh, we'll, we'll get a better look once we get out of the... Uh, the trees here. Well, let's see if we're going the right way. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we just make a straight here. Now we take a left, right? Because we need to go up this trail. So let's take a left here. I'm expecting some hostile action here, but I don't think there's going to be people around this spot. Ooh, weapons case. Nothing. Beautiful. Oh, that, that fire. The bloom is insane, man. Is there something in here, maybe? 
Oh, I can't even go in there. That's unfortunate. So yeah, let's take this path. I think this was the path that leads up. It looks way better now. Awesome. Yeah, I was wondering, man. I was like, something, something ain't right. I could turn up the sharpness just a tad bit more, and then the game will look phenomenal. I just don't want to lag the stream or, or break or crash the game because it did say in the beginning when I started that some people's PC configurations will crash the game. Oh, look at this, man. Vietnam. If you guys don't know anything about Vietnam, it's beautiful. And this game does capture its beauty. Like, this is in the night, so obviously we're not seeing much right now. But I guarantee you, if it's daytime, that would look amazing. The mountains just chilling around there. Pretty cool. Okay, so the compound is right in front of us. We're going to go, I think, right to left. Or left... No, we can go left to right, actually. Let's do that. Le left to right. Okay. Gotta be careful, because... What the hell? That's a very random... A <laughs> very random hole. Okay, we have a toolbox and another old flashlight. I don't think we can use the flashlights. Let's try it. No, cause it, no, it's a vintage flashlight. Yeah, we can't use that. Toolbox. We'll keep in our inventory for now. Uh, sorry, let me check the location for the bugs again. Okay, so right up ahead here to my right, there should be a container. I'm assuming this one here. I don't see any hostels yet. Is that a person there? No, I don't see anyone. Okay. Hold on, is this not the building? No, this is the building. Oh, we placed it on the outside. Okay, so that's one, right? Is that off the map? Cool. I just want to make sure the game's not bugging out. Okay, so we have one. We're going to go for this one here. I want to go from up top, but again, there's no vaulting in this game yet. Can I crawl through this? No. Okay. So we got to go this way. I don't even know if there's a way back up this way. Actually, there is. Now, let's go back up. I think we're going to have to. Out of stamina. Everything is at the bottom, by the way. I'm sure you guys already noticed it, but all of those bars and stuff. Um, it shows my stamina, my strength, I think, and my health. I think the strength thing, um, it depends on how much weight you have. Okay, hold on, sir. What am I trying to do? Four. I keep forgetting the keybind for this. Okay, this is not the spot. We need to go out here. Another, oh yeah, one of these containers again. Okay, shots fired somewhere. I have to really look here because I cannot see shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him, I see him. Okay, let's see if we can make it up here quick and place this bug. Just wait. Okay, he's down. Got an attachment. Let's keep that for now. Uh, another old radio. Can't store it. Actually, yeah, we can't. Okay. Where do I place the bug on this one? I can't even get on it. Wait, what? Oh, right here. Okay. Very odd. Now we'll move to the right. Headshot. Oh man, this guy's got um shit, I can't remember the name of it. Uh it's a certain type of stock. I have one in real life. Demo stock or something? No, it's not called that. I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. 
but it's uh, it's pretty nice, very comfortable. It's not well, it's not super comfortable, but it's comfortable enough. Let's see if we can look at it through the inspection. No, we can't. Unfortunately. Let's see if this guy had an AR-15 mag for us. Oh! We have canted aiming! Okay, now how did I do that? Uh... I don't, what is that? I don't know what I pressed. Uh oh.
Oh no, dude. When did it mute? Wait, what did you hear me say last? Oh my god, dude. When did it mute? Fifteen minutes ago? <laughs> I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That is ridiculous. I did not even press anything to mute the mic. I just thought you were concentrating. No, sorry, man. Oh, that is so annoying. I, I didn't know I pressed mute. Like, there's no way for me to press mute. That's so weird. So what was the last thing you heard me talk about? Like, what was the last thing I said? What's this? Mark 17 mag? We'll take that. And P320, we don't need it. <clears throat> yeah, if there's anyone new to the stream, I also apologize to you because I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I can go back. No, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, you asked me if I still go to the gym. I did answer that. <laughs> um, I don't know. If, did you hear me answer that part or no? Oh, what am I doing, dude? I'm, I'm blindly running. Hold on. We have to see exactly where we have to go. Oh, so the... Okay, so the bugs do change position. So now we have to go to these warehouses here instead of um, the big one. I didn't hear it? Okay. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> I guess I was just completely muted at that point. Um, Hold on. Before I continue, I'm just going to put my mic on screen. You guys won't see it, but I'm going to put it on screen for myself so I know that I'm not muted. All right, that's better. Yeah, so what I was saying was, yes, I still do go to the gym every single day. And I've been keeping it very consistent. So, yeah, I don't really skip days unless I'm feeling a little bit injured or hurt somewhere. Um, did I loot this one already? No. Yeah, so I think only yesterday I skipped because my shoulder was really hurting. But yeah, I've been going every single day since. Da -da 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 -da. I think the entrance to my right is the one I already took. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. So we're going to go from right to left. Well, okay. The way that the map is, you can say left to right, but from my position, it's right to left. So we're going to start here. Yeah, consistency, bro. That's all it's about. Honestly, I used to struggle with consistency, especially at the gym. But lately, I've been really motivated. And because I'm taking creatine, uh, protein, and all of that, and, and pre-workout too, this stuff gets me pumped. So, like, I, I have to go to the gym. <laughs> All right, quick little, little one tap there. So again, it's kind of funny because I am always going loud now, but... Oh, 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 shots fired. I don't think it's here, but I'm going to obviously clear it. Yeah, I think it was back here. Radio towers are usually empty, so I'm not looking up there. Oh, that was over snap. Holy crap. There we go, headshot. I think I should have completed my challenge. Let's see if we can loot this guy. Uh, shotgun shells, don't need that. Oh, well, I did say I was going right to left, but yeah, let's keep doing that then. Finally, the sun's out. In the game. Unfortunately, in real life right now, it is dark. Because it's a very rainy day here in Canada. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit of a lag spike. I think we're going to have to place the bugs on the building in front of me, actually. Not the one to my right. But let me double check that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 
Get over here, bro. Bro, I did not see that guy. Okay, he's dead. Peekaboo. They went home. Oh, here we go. Right inside here. That's a nice spot, actually. Empty container. Still going for some loot, obviously, but most of the time I'm just going for OBJ. What's your favorite COD game? Oh, man, that's a hard question, bro. You're literally starting war right now because that's a hard question. I, You know what? <sighs> favorite Call of Duty... That is so hard for me to answer. There's been some amazing ones. Okay, let me let me just give you like my top five, if I can. Ooh, another M4. Hold on, let me see if we can pack this away real quick. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Modern Warfare 22. I know you're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me for that. Just hear me out. I am more into realistic type of games. And Modern Warfare 22 didn't have any slide canceling, didn't have any, like, real BS. It was just nice. I, I thought it was perfectly paced for a Battlefield game. But it was perfectly paced, in my opinion, so I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 22. Uh, the next one is Modern Warfare 23. So this year's COD, or sorry, last year's COD. This year's COD? I don't know. Whatever. The most recent COD right now. That one is my second favorite. And then Black Ops 2. And then... Oh, dude. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, don't even watch. Just leave right now. <laughs> my aim was so bad there. What the hell? Okay. Anyways. As I was saying. Uh, where was I? Black Ops 2. I... I would say, I want to say Advanced Warfare so badly because Advanced Warfare was a lot of fun for me. But I had, I think I had more memories on Black Ops 1, right? Black Ops 1 Zombies was god tier along with Black Ops 2. So definitely those are uh, 4 and 3, or 3 and 4. Uh, top, or sorry, the fifth game? Yeah, the fifth game is Advanced Warfare. For sure. What about you? What was your favorite COD game? Shotgun shells, and then we have uh, another one of those things. A lot of useless loot. Like, even if I pick these up to sell... Oh, there's another crate there. There's not much to really, like, sell them for. It's, like, what, 80 bucks? Hard drive, whatever. I'll take a hard drive, right? But these aren't worth a lot. That's the problem. Let's go out the back door. I think we do have one... No, sorry. Three more bugs? Yeah, three more bugs. One is just across from me here. See, the way this map looks is so awkward because you see this, like, gravel area here. It looks like a building on the map. Like, it, it just looks like the whole thing is a building. Then when you zoom in, you'll see that there are structures that are outlined. But it's just so unnoticeable, sorry, unnoticeable unless you zoom in. I feel like they should kind of change the colors on them. Make them look more noticeable so we don't mix them up. I want to take a nice screenshot on top of the mountains again with the M4. I wonder if we can get there before we die. <laughs> Let's just check this out real quick. Spray can. Call of Duty World War II is a weird one, but for me it's the best story. Oh, World War II. I completely forgot about that. I think I only played multiplayer for that game, actually. I can't remember playing story. So maybe that's why I just can't remember it. And uh, multiplayer for me in that game, I just didn't like it. It wasn't my type of uh, Call of Duty. It wasn't terrible. just wasn't my type. Oh, I had a little, like, leg spike there. Wait, what? Wait, how did I... How did I already run by that? Hold on, let me run with this thing out in my hand, because that was kind of weird. Bro, we moved so fast on the map. I didn't know that. Okay, so it should be here on this container. There we go. 
think I looted this one already. Let me just double check. Yeah, I looted that one. Sunshine is at its brightest right now. I need to find that mountain. This is the last bug right here we have to place. I think it's going to be on this truck or, sorry, SUV. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I completely guessed that, honestly. And I think that should be it. Let's double check that. Perfect. Okay. So, five out of five. Oh, shit. Okay, that was me being stupid. Don't stand in the open and check your tablet. I need to take some pills. Okay. Was it to my left? What am I hearing, dude? Let's get a better position here. He should be coming in. So far, the AI haven't really disappointed in their pathing. So I think he should be coming in. Or not. Oh, yeah. I might have got him there. I don't know. Contact. Definitely not. Oh, out of rounds. Nope, that's a tablet, dude. Does this thing even have rounds? Okay, cool. Oh, uh, where'd he go? The AI just kind of... They go so fast. in the clip or something do I have time to reload Let's see if I have time to reload first M4 reload I haven't even reloaded it yet until now headshot cool that was the longest gunfight I've had so far with these uh with these bots oh man this guy's got a better M4 than I have or sorry than I do Let's grab the stock off this one. Let's actually grab some of these attachments. The AAC flash hider. Okay, let's grab the magazine as well. So this is just stripped now. Can't even use that. Let's equip this and let's change the stock. I Oh, Viper stock. That's what it's called. Strike Industries Viper. Yeah. So this is the one I have in real life. Um... Let's just put that there for a sec and let's swap this out. Where's the stocks? Am I blind? There we go. There we go, dude. That thing looks badass. We just have to change the handguard. I don't like this uh, this um, polymer style handguard. And then we have an MRDS on a riser, it looks like. What's this optic called? Let me just take a look. I think it's a Leopold or Leopold or whatever. Oh, no, it's a Trigicon. RMR. Yeah, yeah. Got it. <clears throat> I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 yet. Is it better than Modern Warfare 2? To me... Was that a gunshot? To me, no. I, I don't think it's better than Modern Warfare 2. I, I would say it's equal, but not better. A lot of people do prefer Modern Warfare 3, though, over uh, Modern Warfare 2. Alright, so we're done here. I want to go up here for a quick sec, ladies and gents, just for that quick little screenshot. I know it kind of sounds stupid, but <laughs> trust me, it's very important. Because right now, the screenshot that you guys clicked to see this live stream kind of sucks. I kind of just grabbed it off your Steam page. I'm not even going to enter that. A lot of places, if you guys are new to the stream, by the way, thank you so much for joining and welcome. There's a lot of emptiness in this game. Probably way too much emptiness. And I know it's early access. I'm not judging the game and saying that, you know, I'm not criticizing the game. I'm just stating that right now it's very empty. But as I said earlier in the stream, I love this game so far. It's really good. And I'm saying, like, it's got potential, man. The whole AI experience is great, too, because we don't have to worry about players camping in bushes, on top of mountains, on top of towers. Because if this game was multiplayer, dude, look how much trees and and leaves we have bushes players could be anywhere so i'm very happy that this is a pve game oh caught some uh texture bugs 
Not really. I wouldn't say that's a texture bug. That's more like a, a model bug. Yeah, there's more here as well. Floating, floating bushes and whatnot. I point this stuff out again in case the developers watch this live stream later on. Because I will be leaving timestamps for my video or for this live stream. So that way anyone could replay it and click certain time points. Um, yeah, so I want to point these things out so that way they can fix it. There's just a lot of it. And uh, that's, not, that's not one of them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let me just get up here real quick and then I'll continue chatting with you guys. There's an evac up here anyway, so I think I'm just going to take the evac up here. I'm obviously not going to run all the way back down. That'd be uh, way too long. But if there's anyone in chat, please go ahead and let me know. Feel free to chat and talk. Like I'm reading your comments as I'm playing. I have my second monitor pulled up, so you won't be ignored if you're worried about that. Literally respond to everyone. Oh, here we go. This is the view I wanted. Get me up there. Beautiful. And if you guys are new, if you guys don't know what this game is about yet, there is supposedly some sort of a civil war or faction war in Vietnam. And we are obviously in modern time and this is not Cold War. So yeah, that's that's all I know about the story so far. There's more on the Steam page, I didn't notice. I just didn't read it. But I really should. Being as this game is really good, I think it has a pretty good backstory to it. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and read it later on. Oh, shots fired. Uh, I don't know where. Should be in front of me. I actually got hit from that. That's crazy. I know I'm just running into these places. So it is my fault. Last time there was a guy right there. Might be closer this time though. Oh, that guy was freaking armor, dude. Gotta reload. Wow. So this game seems to have multiple reload animations. Because that is not the way that I reloaded earlier. So this is for the Mark 16, by the way. This um, half tan, half gunmetal black magazine. I have one more of those. What's your PC specs? Ah, uh, bro. I don't know. Um... <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, I'm running a 3070 Ti, um, 16 gigs of RAM, oh no, 32 I think. Hold on, hold on, let me pull up the specs in a, in a little bit. I know it's kind of pathetic, I don't know my specs, but it's been some time since I've had this PC, so I can't really remember. Uh, let, me, let me pull up the specs for you guys, actually. I can just do that real quick, it won't take long. I say that, but then I'm like getting stuck. Oh my god, dude, what's going on? Let me just pull that up for you. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> so I'm running a, uh, a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. I'm running a 13th Gen i7 13700 uh, F model. And then we're running a 31 gig RAM. Sorry, we're running 31 gigs of RAM. Jesus, my English is so bad lately. English is actually not my first language, but it's currently my only language, if that makes sense. Am I blind again? Where is he? Where is he? Sounded close. Sounds like... Not behind me? I'm sorry, my audio... Okay, I'm, I'm like blind. My last meds. Was he? Interesting. Nice specs. Thanks, bro. Another guy. Okay, does he have more AR mags? What? Oh 
Oh, what? <laughs> that guy just took like five rounds of uh, nine mil there. Are you joking? How did? <laughs> How do I die? Okay, second death. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, I, oh wait. Receive, receive, receive. So I still completed my objectives for the challenges here. I just didn't complete the main contract. And now we have a little bit more too. I think we have, we only had three before, now we have four. Oh, look at that, dude, we get a P320 from this one. Oh yeah, let's track this. Let's do one more, ladies and gents. Let's just do one more, and then I'm gonna end the stream. Um, but I just want to kind of get some stuff. EOTech, we have an EOTech here. That is magnificent. Something I definitely want to run. Five with shotgun, five with sniper. We don't have these, so we don't we don't really uh, want to do these ones. Survive and extract three successfully from a raid. What the hell does that mean? Survive and extract three times successfully from a raid? That makes sense. But I don't know. I, I don't know what I was trying to say. Let's just... Oh, I'm stupid. Let's track that. Let's just track a random one. Uh, let's go to the trader. What do we have? We still don't have the guns unlocked. Attachments. Let's see what we can buy as attachments. Nothing. Shit, dude. Pretty blank. Okay, let's bring a Glock with us. Bring a Glock. Bring a backpack. I think this one should be empty. Yeah, that one's empty. Uh, we'll bring a helmet because we seem to get shot a lot. Painkillers. Oh, we don't have a we don't have a chest rig. Hold on. Let's put that on. Slap some painkillers in there. We're not gonna bring a magazine, I think. No, we'll bring one. We'll bring one Glock mag. Okay, let's deploy. Let's do a quick little run, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the stream, definitely hit that like button and let me know what you guys think about this game so far. If you guys are new and need a backstory about the game, definitely let me know. But uh, for now, let's just hop in and see what we can do here. Let's go with 2 p.m. I like the daytime. Honestly, I haven't been really enjoying nighttime play because I can't see anything. And, well, that's obvious because it's dark. And I'm still eating. I, I haven't touched my food for a while, so my food is still here. More painkillers, nice. Gonna need like a boatload. What is that? Nails? Sure, I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Uh, right, where do we have to place the bugs this time? Let's see. All right, so in the main compound. <clears throat> So we have to make a big ass circle around again. So we have to go right and then left. Actually, I think just going left would probably, yeah, going left would work out better actually. Hopefully anyway, because it kind of looks like it cuts off. I don't know. Let's also try, this time we're gonna try to use the loading mechanism or loading mechanics, I should say. I want to test out how it looks like when you load ammo into a magazine. I wonder if there's an animation or if it just happens like in the inventory. Let's just find out. But first, let's climb this. So it did say, I, it kind of showed me shortcuts. Oh yeah, so yeah, that shortcut there. All right, pretty easy to remember. Getting used to the map a little bit, but I'm still pulling it out here and there. Don't want to go the wrong way. If 
There shouldn't be any AI here. At least until I get to this little little hut thing or whatever, this container. Yeah, should be AI around here now, but let's find out. There's definitely gonna be like five over there as always. <clears throat> I have to be careful. I'm sorry, what? Somehow I missed all my shots. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of want to bring a chest rig home with me because I'm running out of chest rigs. All right, slow this AK up. It's already got rounds in it. Let's make sure it's in semi, which it is. More painkillers. Actually, let's pop one. I think we are kind of low on health. Yeah, I know. He just tanked all my shots. That's crazy. Like, bro literally swallowed that stuff up. Okay, one place there. Still can't remember where the hell these are, though. So one far left, and then all three are on the right, which is over there. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta run back up, if I remember correctly. See, one thing I'm, I'm always fearing in games like this, especially realistic games, is enemies that just literally consume your rounds like they they're they're sponges basically you shoot them the bullet just def deflects off them like they're sponges it's just weird i don't like that but i guess it is what it is i guess it's based on their armor i don't know i do not know because that guy didn't look like he was wearing anything. I know he was wearing armor. I've seen it. But it just didn't look like he was wearing that much armor. Is it across? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No, I don't see him. Hold on. Like, is it just me or is audio not... I see no one. Shit, okay. I don't know if we can loot this guy safely. I want to check my health, but it's not showing me my health right now. I don't know if I healed fully. I didn't pay attention to it. MP5. That could be used as a secondary. That's kind of nice. Like, it makes sense, but I just wasn't expecting it for some reason. Uh, This guy has a hard drive on him. Let's take that. Let's take it off his hands. Okay, so there were guys in here before. Let's just make it to this side of the compound. Actually, I think... Uh, open! More painkillers. <clears throat> I saw the 338 rounds there, but I didn't want to pick that up. Where do I place the other one again, dude? I'm t I know it's these containers, but this one's not... Oh, okay. I missed it. 
I just didn't see it. I was showing it, but I didn't see it. Trying to look for an optic for this thing. Oh, I didn't pick that up. Okay, full metal jacket. 5.56 five, by 45. Yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, you can stack it beyond 60 rounds. I didn't know that. I thought 60 was a cap or something. Yeah, bed. Don't need it. And then there should be one here. I memorized it now. <laughs> okay. Now we're free to extract. So let's go do that. Let's go to this extraction zone. Actually, let's go to this one. We have four minutes. If I remember, this one was pretty easy to get to. Oh, there are guys here. I didn't get shot last time, though. Glock mags. I'll take those. Oh, there's one with 20 rounds in it. Hold on. Is that a different Glock model type of... Like, is it like a... No, it's a 9mm. 9mm, okay. Just an extended mag. That's pretty cool. Bro, how do they react so quickly? I think that's it. Okay, let's see if we can get down without... Oh yeah, I got, I got down last time using this thing. I took fall damage here though. Let me just carefully step down. What, like how, how do you get hurt from that? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to press that. Okay. He's down. Mag check. Good thing I checked. Looks clear. Let's see if we can loot this guy real quick. Another M4. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking that. Let's uh We can't fit it into our backpack anymore, unfortunately, because we do have the chest rig in here. So let's just drop the AK. Grab the M4, grab the mag. Does he have a better helmet than me? No, it's the same one. Okay. Chamber check this. Perfect. Not even chamber check. I don't know, is there a chamber check uh Option here? No. Okay. Alright. That's fine. No jacket. So 120 is the maximum that you can stack it to. I haven't tried any of these guns in full auto, by the way. Lots of M4. Yeah, I'm actually happy. I'm happy about that. But I'm not finding anything else other than M4s, MP5s, or AKs. So I think everything else has to be purchased. Or maybe you just have to be that certain tier before it unlocks. And then everyone else will spawn with it, I guess. I don't know. I'm just guessing. So many AUG mags too, which is kind of weird because the AUG is not even spawning. Ever. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh, we have four minutes. I'm so stupid. Did I already pass that limit? One minute. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, just one more box. Oh, I can't put that on? What? Oh, I already have a red dot on. I'm stupid. A lot more containers and stuff to loot on this side. But the other side, like that bigger compound... Wait, what the hell? Oh, it opens and I'm so stupid. <laughs> I, I don't feel like reading, I guess. It opens in 30 seconds. I thought it closes in a minute or whatever. I'm just gonna loot until it opens then. Injection, don't need it. Let, let's try the injection, just for fun. Uh, 
Actually, we don't have room for it. Screw it. Let's see if there's any secrets back here. Nice little broken area. Ah, dude, another just gorgeous spot. Nice. Not the best looking spot, but it looks cool. I think it should be open now. I still haven't shot the MP5. I'm just gonna shoot this thing. I hate the way that he's ADSing. It's missing the rear post or the rear sight. It just looks so weird. It's so wonky. Can we like slap something on that? I forgot I didn't pick up the red dot. It's just so weird. Oh, this is full auto. Oh, that's burst actually. Oh, it's empty. Cool. Reload. I'm probably going to sell this. That's why I'm just uh, spraying it. I want to see what it looks like and what it sounds like. Yeah, man, this game's pretty quiet. Honestly, I'm probably not going to stream this again, but I'm glad that I got to play it. Once it updates, which is what I'm going to be waiting for, I'll be playing it more often. But for the time being, man, there's just not much here. Like, it's just kind of a... I don't know how to say it without sounding like a dick. <laughs> it's just kind of blank right now. Which is pretty unfortunate. Oh man, they got a hybrid here, dude. The EOTech hybrid. I love that optic in real life. Like, I love the combo of the magnifier, the G3... Uh, sorry, what is it called? The, uh... Yeah, I think it's G33 or something? G03? I, I can't remember. I love that combination with an EOTech. Phenomenal. Does seem a bit repetitive. Yeah, that's the thing, man. It, there's just nothing to do right now. It's always, like, the same challenges over and over. Um, again, it's it's a freaking great game. It just needs some love. Because right now, it doesn't seem to have that. It does have pinpoint accuracy, though. Like, it's center of the screen. Recoil is not even hard to control. It's just the initial recoil will obviously kick up, but after that, it's so easy to pull down. And let's do point uh, aiming. Pretty cool. I like that. That front post, which I assume we can take off. Uh, actually, no, I don't think we can. No, we can't. Never mind. I love how you just don't have to reload. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the unlimited ammo feature. A lot of games miss that. And they just make you use your own... Like like uh, Ghost of Tabor. That's why I never use the shooting range. What's the point if it's just going to waste your ammo? Pretty cool. Alright. I do have 20 more minutes to stream. But I'll be honest with you guys. I think I might just end it here. Because there's not much to do in this game. At this very moment. And I'm not going to keep going back to the same mission. Like we already played it like 5 times today. Oh, wait a minute. We unlocked the uh, Mark... Uh, sorry, the Mark 16, the Scar L. Holy shit. Let's buy one. Let's freaking buy one. What the hell? Let me just try this real quick and then I'll be uh, hopping off here. Let's uh, slap this over here. Actually, we have a gun box. And we have a hammer. Or not a hammer, sorry. Uh, Bravo 4. Place that there. Let's put that there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's take a look at this one. Dude, look at that. 
Mar Honestly, the 5R models look fantastic. Got a nice little Mark 16 here. I like that. Let's do a quick little inspection. Kind of dark in this bunker, but I can see. Now, can we put attachments on it? Seems like we might have to remove. So let's just do this. Let's remove the front post and the rear. And see if we can put on an optic. Item is not compatible. Are you sure about that game? Oh, there we go. Awesome, dude. Look at that. Recoil is so manageable. And cool thing is, this one looks like it can take an MRDS. Let's see if we can slap one on top. So let's use the, uh, the um, what was it, delta point? Yeah, delta point. That's the mount, actually. We need the actual optic. Which we don't have. What the shit? <laughs> uh, RVG grip. Let's slap that on real quick. Uh, sorry, quick. Ugh, can't talk. And then we have a new handgun. Let's try that out, too. <clears throat> But yeah, this is a little bit of the customization that you were asking for, um, Squid. And thank you, by the way. I see your comment. Thank you for that. But I'm not, I'm not done just yet. I just want to try the customization. I believe in the future, there's going to be a better way to customize your firearms. Like right now, you could see right here that there is a way to zoom in and out. There is a way to kind of look around your gun when you're building it. But it's not too in-depth, like, I mean, stat-wise it is, yes. But it's not too in-depth, like, looking at the model, you know what I mean? Or, like, trying to select different points on the gun. A lot of people won't even know what these are. Like, if, if you don't know anything about guns, it's going to be hard for you to know what these are. So, maybe they can try and simplify that in the future. I don't mind it, personally, but, you know, just saying. So, grip... You can see that the grip is decreasing recoil and ergonomics, or making ergonomics, uh, sorry, ergonomics better. So let's put that on. That looks pretty cool. Uh, we should be able to put this on top. Yes, we can. Oh, that is amazing. Um, front post, we can actually leave back on, which is kind of funny, but that wouldn't make sense. Let's try that. Oh, it doesn't even get in the way. Surprised. S really surprised on that. So stick the front post off. How would you switch sights then if you have two? It's really in depth to be honest, the customization. It is, yeah, 100%. But if you play, sorry, if you ever play Tarkov, um, it has the same exact, I mean, exact replica of the inspection screen that you see here. But when you're in your base or your hideout, which we are in right now, You'll be able to actually enter this weird gunsmith menu, kind of like Call of Duty, or kind of like, um, uh, what other game can I compare it to? Actually, I don't know what other games have that system. Uh, but you can kind of rotate your gun around, and you can swap out different parts, um, and it just looks really cool. This one doesn't really have that. But anyways, the double optics, so the way you switch it from my understanding is V. Yeah. So it was showing me this earlier right here. I'm holding M just to look at this, by the way. So M allows you to see the controls, the keybinds. Very cool. So cycling through the optics is just V. Yeah. Unlimited ammo, obviously, so it's not going to uh, affect my magazine. Let's try that P320. So we just grabbed, this is not a P320, is it? What is? It looks very weird. Or it looks unusual to me, because I usually don't care for uh, SIG's, you know, P-series um, handguns. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to reload it. I don't have another mag. Oh, so this is why I was missing my targets earlier. The gun itself wasn't uh, resetting to center of the screen. 
just like in real life how your gun kicks up like the recoil kicks up and if you keep pulling the trigger your your uh the round will go wherever that muzzle is pointing to so the game is the same it looks like so let's say i'm trying to shoot someone in front of me over there you guys see how if i spray it it kicks up the round goes up it misfires so now it makes sense why i couldn't hit my target so those guys that i was shooting they were not tanking my rounds bro they were i was literally missing that's a very very cool mechanic not a lot of games have that so i'm happy to see that so you gotta take your time let it reset yeah like this is as fast as you could shoot straight maybe if you spray it no it just won't yeah it's realistic i like that really cool feature so props to the devs for that um ars i guess have the same thing but i didn't really test it let's test that out real quick so if i wanted to spray a guy in front of me well no that doesn't make sense because this has a stock so you're shouldering it right you're gonna be way more consistent with this than a handgun which always kicks up so never mind it, it, would, it wouldn't count on rifles kind of doesn't make sense anyways i was completely geeking out there for the last couple minutes i apologize for anyone that that is like what the hell is this guy even saying i think that's all we have though we don't have anything else unlocked i do want to buy a shotgun just to show you guys what the shotgun would look like if i have enough money uh, i do have enough money yeah let's just buy the shotgun why not i mean might as well just try the guns out since we i still have like 13 minutes okay the nelly m2 this should be interesting uh let's put the uh expensive guns in the stash and then i'll put the other ones in the weapon box i don't know which one's more secure well, let's just roll with that all right so i don't know if you can put attachments on this it doesn't have a rail system yeah, so I think you'd actually have to um, unlock the attachments for like maybe a different handguard. But let's take a look at the Benelli M2 here. I can't reload it. Hold on, let me. I just want to reload it just to show you guys. I, I know I have unlimited ammo. Oh, I can't. Like, at all. No, I can't. Dude, hold on. <laughs> I think the guns shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, I love it. A little trigger finger action there. Hold on. I think I can shoot faster. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. <laughs> You're obviously not going to be dumping rounds like that. Do a little quick inspection. I didn't try that with the handgun, but now I want to try it with the handgun. I don't think these can shoot as fast as you pull the trigger. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. That was, that was just funny to me. I don't know. A lot of games don't have that feature. So it's kind of funny. It's, it's realistic in a way, but you're obviously never going to shoot that fast. And, um, uh, well... In real life, your trigger, or sorry, your finger will not pull the trigger that fast. I, I don't think so. Let me know if you guys think otherwise, but I don't think so. Uh, very cool though. I, I think that's all the guns we can look at for now. I don't think we have anything else. I, I kind of want to just rapid fire everything now. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to. Let's try and do that. Let's let's just do a quick little AK rapid fire, and I think uh, let's go back to that M4 real quick. Oh, we can't. We don't have space. Let me put those here, here, and put the mag back. We don't need it right now. Let's put the M4 in there. Got five people watching. Welcome, guys, to the stream, or ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Thank you so much for joining, and <laughs> thank you to Squid for letting me know. I didn't even know that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the last couple minutes of Insurge. Or, sorry, what's this game called? I, <laughs> wait, I completely forgot the game name. Oh, yeah, Incursion Red River. So, currently, this is an alpha. So you guys will see some bugs and whatnot, but feel free to watch the whole stream. I'm going to do a little quick little uh, trigger finger action here. See how fast I can shoot this. So let's see how fast full auto is first. Not bad. 
And semi. I don't know which one's faster, full auto or my trigger finger. <laughs> Let me know. I, I can't really tell. It kind of looks the same to me. And then let's try the M4 again. Let's just drop. Can we drop this? Unequip. Oh, that does not help. You can't even swap it. Ah, oh, it's one of those. One of those things. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. That's so weird. This one has a flashlight on top of the rail. What? What? Why is that even a thing? I can't remember how to activate the flashlight. Should be F, but it's not. I have no idea how to activate this thing. Oh, well, that's a laser. Even weirder. Even weirder. Our trusty M4. Drum mag and everything. That's full auto. Eh, kind of the same. I think full auto was faster, actually. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That will be it for today's stream. That was a pretty good game. Overall, again, if the devs ever watch this video, overall, the game is great. Insane potential. I love the way everything feels. Gunplay, movement. Looting is pretty good, too. Um, I guess the hitbox or the, um, the trigger system needs to be a little bit better. But other than that, it's fine. Um... Firearms, the way they look, mechanics, gun customization, that's obviously all there. I'm very happy to see all of that. And I think a lot of people will be happy to play a game that has in-depth customization like this. Just like Tarkov. Or, I gotta be honest though, a lot of it is exactly like Tarkov. If anything, if I had to give my opinion or suggestions, changing things up would be beneficial. Like... Changing up the UI a little bit. Uh, it's clean, and I guess this works. Um, some of the logos need to be swapped out. Like, I have no idea what these things are. Like, nails. It just looks like a, a paper box or something, a paper bag. Um, UI needs to be swapped out. The inspection screen, 100%, needs to be a little bit different. Because that looks exactly like Tarkov. Not even joking when I say that. Exactly like Tarkov. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Unless it's the same devs. I, I didn't really pay attention. But anyways, thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in today's stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I hope you guys have a fantastic day or night depending on where you are. And I'll see you guys in my next stream and video. Peace out.